Wow, that looked real, didn't it? But when you take the drapes off, all it is is a simulated model. We've been working here at Colorado State University to develop a way to train our students in veterinary medicine to develop surgical skills with using better, more advanced technologies that don't involve the use of live animals. Historically, students were trained on any number of simulations to build their basic surgical skills. Sometimes these training methods actually taught incorrect techniques that didn't translate well into real-world skill sets. In any case, the simulations didn't do a very good job of preparing a surgeon for live patients. The stress levels involved when real tissues are being sutured can be quite intense. So this new technology allows us to train our students using more realistic techniques. The tissue handles like it should, responds like it should, and what we really hope is it reduces the stress level between the didactic learning that they do in the classroom and their first live animal experience. What we've done here, creating this model, was to put together different layers of uh, silicone with different formulations and different consistencies. We made this model initially based on uh, original organic was a, was a horse, and uh, we t made a model from this animal's ventral abdominal wall. So here you can see all the layers that we created with this model. Here we have a very superficial one, that's the skin, a, a, faint, a little more faint layer underneath that one, that is the subcute, and a muscular belly in red right here that's encapsulated by the fascia which is a harder silicone. So all these silicone layers have different consistencies which approximate what we found in the live tissue. You can also gonna find the vessels that you're gonna have to clamp and ligate, you know, in other words, creating hemostasis. As you can see, there are these vessels sticking out here, these little silicone red ones, and they go across, uh, the skin ones, they go across the whole uh, model, and the ones in the muscle they go and create loops all the way until they reach the midline. The midline, a real horse would be the linea alba, so you don't have any vessels going across. So the goal here is to have the student creating an incision, and if they create incision off midline, um, they're gonna have to deal with the vessels that are inside the muscle, which is something that they would have to do in a, a real situation as well. The suturing is also something that's important and is something that can be done in this model very well. The other thing that we're doing is create a, a skin and subcute that is translucent. So the students can create the incision and suture that incision. And they can actually have a three-dimensional view of their suture placement. I think it's amazing. This simulation feels like the real thing. I remember as a second-year vet student using these carpet pads and your sutures just rip out and they don't, you know, stay very well. There's no tissue layers. I'm amazed by the tissue layers on this, the skin, the sub -Q, even the muscle. After having been in the clinic's fourth year, this feels like the real, real thing. So no matter whether you're working in the animal field or the human field, better outcomes are our goal and better training for our students is a must. At Colorado State University, we are now using these models so our students have better skills, less stress, more confidence and our clients can know for sure that they're getting the best care possible.